Hello everyone, or welcome back to All the Mods Gravitas 2. So, in today's episode, we are going to go for the steam turbine generator. Now, I did go and mine a bunch of tin between episodes. Um, I actually recorded it, but it was a bit boring. So, um, yeah, I mined a bunch of tin, and by tin, I mean uh, cassiterite, I think it was called. In fact, um, I did figure some out as well, which is... So, if we have a look at this, go to Macerator. It says right here that you'll get a 50% chance of getting two more, right? So, you get two here. 50% chance of getting two here. This doesn't work. Like, every time that I put this in the macerator, like, we've even got one of these, right? So, if we have a look at this and go to macerator, I put one of these in, and we were supposed to get a 50% chance at getting one of these. It didn't happen. We didn't get a 50% chance, and we didn't get, like, any of these chances either. I put in nine of these, uh, no, not nine of these. Nine of these into a macerator, and we only got one crushed per. So, in my opinion, the macerator doesn't do anything right now. <laughs> it literally doesn't do anything, which um, it might be, because if we have a look at this again, right? Let me go over to macerator. It's not the one, this one. Go to macerator. It might be because it says right here, ultra low voltage. And if we hover over this, it says 50% chance and then a plus 7.5% per tier chance as well. So you can add on top of that, right? So if it's ultra low voltage, you get 50%. Low voltage, you'd expect to get 57.5%, right? Because that's adding 7.5%. Maths is hard, I know, but bear with me. <laughs> um... I thought, oh, you know what? This is not even low voltage. The Steam, Steam version over here. So what I did was I popped over to Cthulhu Monsters Place, right? And I popped in here, and right at the back over here, we've got a macerator, and I threw in a load of my uh, whatever that stuff is, the the pyrite, the stuff that turns into what is it again? I think it's copper. Copper and iron, basically. So I threw it in here. Not a sausage. We only got one of each. Right? So it, it should go into here. See, again, we only got one. Ah. Okay. Uh, we should... That's me and Cassidy. Okay. Let's see if Cassidy will sleep. Right, there we go. So, yeah, that means that the, uh, the macerator doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I was so, so proud of myself that I got this macerator. Um, also, I've changed this out a little bit. We are now using three pumps. And that keeps these going, I think. Why are you not going right now? What? But it's sunny out. I think it's confused because we slept through a thunderstorm. Anyway, um, that's fine. I'm not really doing anything right now. Uh, we can stick this in here, and that will that will smart up for us. Anyway, we've got loads of tin now, is what I was trying to say, and we can't double it with the macerator, which is a bit of a shame. But that does mean that we can make the uh, steam turbine generator. Now, I will just admit, this is what we're going to do down here, by the way. I'm going to do this recipe, because it does not require the magnetic version. But I will admit that I did look into this over here so if i do the ponder for this thing so this is the um fe generator so this is forge energy generator right here you need magnets how do they work and rotational force to spin it and that will generate some like electricity and then you can use a converter so you can use this thing the carbon brushes block thing you can use a converter from greg tech so converter one of these bad boys. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. This one here. So you can use one of these. And uh, you can basically turn the FE into EU. Because EU is the power units used in Greg Tech And it's based on like industrial craft. And Anyway, it's a different type of energy. So 
I think it's like energy units. And Fe is forge energy. I think. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is we could do it that way, but by the looks of it, that's going to be a pain. So we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do the, the steam generator. So this way over here with the converter will also make us power and pretty good power. But uh, if you look at create new age, create, no, that's not it, uh, at new, new age. There we go. So if you have a look at it, these are the different like magnet, magnet, whatever you call them, you know, the, the things that go around the, the outside of it. And the best one you can do is this one here, which takes a load of diamonds and a load of netherite scrap. And it's actually like 48 netherite scrap that you need. And I cannot be asked to go mine 48 of this to get the, uh, the magnets ready for it. There is the one before that, but that requires a lot of iron because for one of these, it's four iron plus a bunch of steel because these ones here require steel, right? And you can't make it anyway because that's aluminium. So the only one we can really do is the easy one, which is this. And that is just 12 blocks of redstone. But what I'm trying to say is I don't want to do that anymore. So we're not going to. We are just going to go for the uh, steam generator. So that was a lot of words right there just to say that we're not doing something. Bronze. I think we found out that you can't use the different types of bronzes. I, I kind of want to see that like implemented, that you can use all the different types of bronzes, but it's not essential, is it, really? So I'm going to put those away. So that is for the, the pipes that we've got there. And then for the tin, we need, I think it's two of these. And that is a tin rod. And I think this is also a tin rod. Oh, you actually get like... You get double out of it if you do it this way. But you can do it the other way, which is if you... Yeah, cut a tin rod in half. Hmm, okay, anyway. We'll probably just do this this way, I think. Which means we do need to set up our rolling machine. And we need a bunch of tin. And as I said, we got a load of tin recently. So I'm going to start with 16 and see where that gets us. So, uh, oh, I did set this up because I made a load of iron recently. Uh, and I needed to heat it up and then use the bonker. You don't get bonked, do you? I don't think you do either. Flipping egg. I'm going to have to nick someone else's bender. Um, I will just admit that I think we're always going to use someone else's bender for this or at least until we get our own we're going to use someone else's because I don't want to use double the resources if you know what I mean if I've got access to this we might as well use this you are running out of power you're kidding me why are you running out of power what the actual heck is going on here Okay, this is stopped. This is stopped. Something over here is wrong. I'm going to go fix something that's happened over here, I think. Okay, not going to lie. No idea. No idea what's going on here, if I'm honest. Um, I tried a bunch of stuff, and it didn't seem to work. Uh, so, I don't know what we do about this now. Uh, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to go use Cthulhu Monsters, because I know hers work. So, let's, uh, let's pop over. Right, there we go. We got ourselves all of the tin plates we need, and I believe we've got all of the tin rods we need as well. We had to use the lathe for that. So now all I have to do is put all of this together. Oh, I need all the steel and stuff as well, thinking about it. Uh, iron. Okay. I'm just going to get 12 steel. Why not? Uh, I should have charcoal in there, but just in case, we'll take some more. Put some in here. Cool. Okay, we'll let that do its thing for a bit. Let's get those away. Um, 
Right, so let's bookmark these two because it's going to take us a little while. Need a hammer. One and two. And then what do you need for this? Is it a file? So we need a saw to begin with. Saw. Ooh, we are proper running out of saw. That is fine. And then file. Beautiful. Right, that should be all we need to do this. And we need the screwdriver, the file, and the hammer. So we've got the hammer here. We've got the file. Screw, oh, screwdriver. Nice. Okay, we'll take all of these out, and then we'll do that again. And then we have to put all of these back in. It's weird that it doesn't use these, but... I kind of get it. I get why it's not doing that. And then it's the hammer and the wrench, I believe. Yes, hammer and the wrench that we need for the pipe. Wrench and the hammer. So that is the two pipes. That is the two rotors. Then we need this thing in the middle, which does require a tin wire. So we're going to go use a wire mill. I knew I needed tin for something else. Let's use this tin because it's different. That is also tin down there. So we need two tin plus three. So three tin, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven tin. Right. We need to set up our crushing wheels again. And I've already done it. So we're going to put them just here for now. And uh, we've got access to the you know what? Ah, oh, it doesn't work if I do, like, full pelt. It's a bit of a pain, but... Because I thought this would be able to do full pelt. Considering we tried it, and this is eight water wheels, and it should be able to sustain it, but apparently not. So, if we just put this back down to... I think it was... 192? I don't rightly remember. Why are you breaking? What the heck? Okay, we can do half that, apparently, and that is... I don't get it. I don't get why it's only half. Anyway, we're going to put that there and put this one back down. That's half the speed that I wanted it to be, but it is all good. Because these two here are literally like... That's 2,000 and a bit, and from this we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Seven, eight, eight times five, which is four thousand. So you'd think that I could do that, but oh well. Anyway, uh, we can lob stuff up there, and we need to do that, I think, because of the rubber. So we got one rubber sheet, which will probably be enough to do one of the cables, which is perfect. But we need how many rubber sheets do we need? We need. Uh, let's, let's have a look at this again. So we need one, two, three, four, because we need two of these. Five, six. So we need six rubber sheets, or rubber, let's say. And the rubber sheets come from rubber ingots, which is raw rubber pulp, and that is six times three, which is 18, I think. Yeah, 18. And then we need six sulfur. So six sulfur. Sticky resin is how we get it. So I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to stick all of this. All 32. This is really bad, by the way, me be jumping up here and doing this. But I'm going to stick all 32 in here. Let's stick a chest down here. Is it doing it? Wait. I think it is doing it, you know. Ah, there you go, 50. So that is way more than we need, but I thought, you know what, might as well give it give it all we've got. And we can stick all of this in the high pressure alloy thingy my bob. That is super quick, actually. It's quicker than I thought it was. And then we are going to have to heat up. Oh, didn't we get a, um, let's go down here. Did we get a blaze burner? 
We did get a blaze burner. So I'm actually going to swap out. You know, upstairs we've got the, the mixer and everything. I'm going to swap it out instead of using uh, the... Whatever it's called. Instead of using this thing, the charcoal stuff, we don't have to do that. What we can do is use the blaze burner instead, which is what I intend on doing. So up here, you know, this, this spinny thing. We can get rid of all of that. Stick down our blaze burner. We can... Oh, yeah. That's not exactly where we want to put it either, is it? Because we need to... How do we do this then? Oh, we do need the, the basin. Did I pick it up? No, I didn't. Let's grab the basin. What I'll do is I'll hop down here. That was close. And we will put it over here. Yeah, I like this idea. No, I don't because... I might have to move this over. Okay, well, we can do that. I've got a load of uh, gearboxes on me, so what I could do is gearbox, gearbox. And then we make this one, yeah. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. So, stick this one right here. Put this underneath, put this on top. That down there, we can feed a charcoal and we can lob all of the rubber in. And there you go, you get the rubber sheets. That works. Stick that there for now. Cool. Okay, so now I can use this with this. That gets us all of the wires that we need for this. So we can get rid of all of those. So the last thing left is, I believe, we oh, we need copper wire. That was it. And we also need this thing. So that is two raw iron plates, and then we need nine steel. Okie dokie. How many steel have we got up here? Twelve. Perfect. So we can turn nine of these. Oh, I'm proper slow right now. Uh, I don't think it matters if this is down there. Is that going to heat stuff up that's on here? It is a question. Doesn't look like it is. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. We'll just uh, we'll leave that there for now. Need to eat food. Right, here we go. LV, whatever that was, the LV machine casing. That gets us the LV machine hull. And then we just need to make these ones. I forgot about the copper wire. Easily fixed. There we go. And one and two. Wait, what? What am I missing? Ah, there we go. Because it was in my inventory. So one and two. And now, weird. I don't know why I didn't put it in there. There we go. Got ourselves the steam turbine. Now we can use this. Oh, we could put it here, like that. Yeah, that would work. And then underneath we can put ourselves a fluid conduit. And we're going to start making some power. Now, the only thing is, well, we haven't got anything to spend power on right now, do we? So, uh, cable. No, no, what's it called? Conduit. So let's pop up here. Conduit. Let's take it there. Stick this there. Oh yeah, I have to tell this, don't I, to insert. Perfect. It's making a horrible noise, but it's, it's, it's doing a thing, so there we go. And now that's full of power, So and it's not going to do anything because it's now full of power. Can I, I'm going to break this, even though I know I just wasted a load of uh, steam right there. Can I stick it up like that? I can. And did it change again? Let's have a look. Oh, look, there's our item bowl. Beautiful. So now we can use this, 
this bit here to power whatever we want, whatever we fancy. So, what, what's the first thing we should get? I, I kind of want to get a... Let's have a look. How the heck do we get a bender? Because that would stop us from having to go over to other people's places. And it looks like... There's a lot of recipes right there. So, I think the main thing is... Yeah, we need we need some of these uh, basic electronic circuits. That's the, the big thing right there. So, we need at least two. Uh, uh, you know what? I think it's the circuit assembly that we, we need at some point. We need the basic assembler. Because that does like a ridiculous amount of stuff that we could definitely do with. But we also need the... Oh, oh, including, including... Let's have a look at the enchanting table. Because you can get an enchanting table and it just requires... Double red steel, one blue steel, two apotheosis gems, but I don't know which ones. I don't think it matters. It kind of looks like the, um, oh, we've got one of those, actually. Gem. Kind of looks like the royal family gem, right? Why not let me take it out? Oh, that might be a bug. Oh, let me take that one out, whatever that one was. Lord, okay, whatevs, that's fine. I'm not going to do it now anyway, but that, that does let us do that. So I feel like the bender might be the best thing for now because it means we don't have to go elsewhere, but we really, really need to not make these anymore. We need a circuit assembler. And we need to be able to just stick like a bunch of liquid tin. Oh, which means we need the extractor. which is, I think, this one, right? So we need an extractor so we can get the liquid tin. There's a lot to this, I must admit. Right, we are back on the gallium arsenide dust. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how you make it in this pack. Okay, you need the arsenic and you need the gallium, obviously, right? And then you get that from... Oh, refined bauxite. But we've already found that you don't get Oh, maybe you do get another chance with this stuff. Because I actually have some bauxite, I think. We well, don't have any refined bauxite, obviously, but we have some... Uh, let's... Yeah, we've got a ton of bauxite. Oh, I wonder if it does the whole... Okay, it's not showing me the thing. Ah, here it is, ore processing. Gallium dust. If we do use a chemical bath... We get the purified and a 70% chance of the gallium dust. Okay, so that's one way to get gallium, I, I guess. I feel like I'm missing something when it comes to this, but I feel like that's the only real way of getting the... Uh, like, did you get gallium sulfide from somewhere? Doesn't look like it, does it? What about the uh, the small, small bits of it? Distillation tower, which is very far off. And a distillery, Naquadar Waste. I don't think we're going to get to that for a little while at least. Nope. Okay. Um, so it's not the electrolyzer recipe. Crushed bauxite. And then that gets us a 70% chance. I think it is just the macerator, isn't it? And it's either the purified cephalorite or... Or cephalorite. Or the bauxite. Which is a thermal centrifuge, which I don't really want to make one of those, but if we have to, we have to, right? I might ask around a bit, see where people have uh, got their gallium from. Right, I've had a chat with a few people. Apparently it is using bauxite. And I forgot, quests. Why the heck do I even do this? Because I forgot about quests. So, in the low voltage, if you look, arsenic trioxide, and then you get, okay, so... How the heck do you get this? In the electric blast furnace, you need some of this cobaltite. And cobaltite... Ah, oh, you have to actually go find cobaltite. Okay, flipping heck. It should be about, right? Oh, you get it from um, refined 
cobalt, and we've got a load of cobalt from what I remember. Ooh, yeah. Cobalt. Yeah, we do. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's good to see. So uh, we could do that. We could use uh, the raw cobaltite or raw cobalt. Oh, it is called raw cobaltite. So I'm sure we could do something with that to get uh, what we need. Anyway, what was it in the quests? So for gallium, gallium dust, ore processing the basics. So we need a macerator, an ore washer, thermal centrifuge. Macer macerate, ore wash, thermal centrifuge, macerate. Common way to process ores. Make sure you keep the byproducts. They're often a Wait, what? They're often a surprise tool that will help us later. And that points at this. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm skipping some steps. Why do I need this anyway? Why do I need uh, the gallium arsenide? I always forget. Electric blast furnace? No. Assembler. What? Why do I need that? Oh, because if we do this, it's this stuff. The small piles. You need that for the diodes. That's the badger. Okay, so we still need them for the diodes and we need it for the silicon balls as well. Okay. Uh, we don't need diodes right now though, do we? Basic extractor. Oh yeah, if we want to do it in the circuit assembler. No, what? I swear I needed diodes for some reason. Oh yeah, so if you use this in the circuit assembler to make the good electronics, you do need a diode. Because we need two of these, I believe, and that will get us the circuit assembler. Because you always need the one up from what you've got for the circuit, well, yeah, for the circuit assembler of that. Wow, that's how you get blank patterns as well kidding me flipping egg wow all right well anyway um uh, we can ignore that then let's go for basic extractor i just need to make like a ton of these don't i let's make 16 of these i think that is a plan right we've already done it before so i might skip over oh my goodness Sticky resin. Oh, that's a plan. Let's get some conduits. Conduits. And we need a tank. Uh, what kind of tank? We could use a sky... No, we can't do that. Let's use the create tank, maybe? Oh, I had one right there. I don't think it's going to let you pump into... Oh, what are these things? Simple. Oh my goodness. Thorium crafting. Okay. That's not what we want to see. We've got the Ender IO stuff, but it looks like they're disabled. And then we've got the Railcraft. Okay. Well, we don't want that. We just want just a regular tank. I want to see if the, um, uh, the sap from this, whatever you call it. Yeah, the resin. I want to see if I put this here some light on this apparently you use it on the tap let's change this to insert and change this to extract and that is working that's all we needed to do you're kidding me and you can see that's already gone up by seven millibuckets to another 10 i am now wondering if i need the rest of the tree Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I think it's still working. Speed modifier is pretty crap though, but I think that's okay. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take those. Uh, oh yeah, I, I really messed up over here. That's fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. Before I chop down the trees, I should have gone up there and like used my scythe to get more of the saplings. Oh wow, well, it's all good. It's all good. So, there is a term in RuneScape called bank standing. And what bank standing means is you just sit there looking at all of your stuff and you don't really know what to do. And that's kind of where I'm at. Obviously, I want to get this um, 
basic electronic circuit. Uh, so we are going to probably get on with making like a ton of these if we can. Hello mate, why are you here? I do need to get back on the floor in a minute because obviously I've not been like overly good about collecting, well I couldn't have been overly good about collecting all of the saplings as, as I go. So what I'm, I'm planning on doing is just dropping down the tree as soon as we uh, as soon as we get most of the leaves down. Right, uh, the last thing I'm going to do, I think, in this episode today is uh, I'm going to plant down a bunch more of these trees. I'm going to just try and get them right next to each other. And that way we can tap, like, a bunch of them right next to each other. Obviously these two, this one here and this one here, uh, are not going to exist because we've already got the sap collectors and I can't be asked to move them. I don't know what to do with the uh, with the resin, if I'm honest. We, we could pipe it over here, make a load of conduits and just pipe it all the way over. Or we could move this over here. I'm kind of thinking we do that, we move that over here, but I'm, I'm going to save that for next time, I think. Um, yeah, we should probably plant the rest of these as well. Uh, let's let's actually plant them over here somewhere because this is a little bit of a freer area. There we go. I didn't plant any back down in the Kaolin Paradise, but uh, if no one's over there, it's not loaded, so it won't load, and yeah, it it just doesn't work. So uh, the only reason it was like loaded over there previously is because whenever any of us went over there to get some Kaolin, Kaolin clay. Anyway, I think about now is where I should end the episode. I've been recording literally all day just because uh, I've been bouncing around all of these different topics. So I think uh, next time what I'm going to do is I'll probably start the episode with a focused plan. and We'll just get it done. That's, oh, I took my shoes off. That's why I've been slow. I must have clicked here at some point. Boots. There we go. That's a little better. There we go. I also need food, which is, uh, again, a little struggle for me because we've not set any food up. That might be what we do next episode, to be fair. Anyway, I think now is a good time to call it. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.